what is up beautiful people welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a wig review but this isn't going to be your typical wig review okay this is going to be a wig review over my sister locks if you guys have not seen my last video definitely go ahead over there and check it out but pretty much i'm hitting four months in my sister lock journey and at this moment i need a retie my grid is just like non-existent they're very fuzzy and i'm just at the point where i don't really want to do anything right now so this is where love me here comes in shout out to love me here for sending me over this beautiful unit i am so happy that i get to collaborate and work with them today they sent us over their uh, love me hair headband they also sent over this cute little mirror which is very handy and i was very surprised about it's perfect to be able to just put in your pocket or your purse and go to do like a little quick makeup touch up and then you know the little edge brush which is nothing new we can always use some of those and then the wig caps and then this is just a little love me um hair pamphlet about the hair with all like the quality instructions and everything like that and then this is the wig itself okay this is the tea this is the reason why we are here so when it comes to the construction of the wig you have the four combs the one at the top the two on the side and the one in the back as well as the thick elastic band and then the elastic band that are that is adjustable that is inside the actual construction of the wig and then as far as this lace this is a pre-bleached wig and this is hd lace i believe this is a four by four lace closure it is pre-plugged it is pre-parted and the knots are pre-bleached so we love that so i went ahead and braided up my locks this is always my base when it comes to wearing wigs i'm just gonna go ahead and put the little wig cap over i put some makeup well this is the wig cap that i typically always wear so it has some makeup on it already and the hair is the wig itself so we're gonna go ahead and slap that bad boy on so i will say this wig is low-key tight for my big headed girls out there it's it's a little tight okay i was kind of struggling the hair is super super soft like always not shocked or surprised there i went ahead and did cut the lace off camera um, I'm just going to add some makeup on like the little tab pieces, but you know, the color of the lace is obviously different than the color of my skin, but once I put my makeup and everything on there, I think it's going to be looking good. And then I'm just going to add some um, like black eyeshadow to like the spaces where you can tell that they over bleached or like the bleach came through a little bit just to seal off that part. So if you watched my lock video, you know that I mentioned my feelings and my struggles when it comes to wearing wigs now about me being torn. And this was the moment where I felt like, okay, Okay, what am I doing? This is so much hair. But in the end, I think it turns out pretty, pretty nice because, oh, there she is. Look at that. Look at that. Here we are. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished look. I know it doesn't really look much different from what you guys saw in the previous clip. Mainly, I'm here with a face on. But yeah, this is the hair. What do you guys think? I'm a little bit in a culture shock right now because I haven't seen myself with actual hair on since like May. So to get into all of the hair details, this is their Wet and Wavy Natural Sight Part 4x4 Lace Closure Wig. Not to mention, it is also glueless, meaning that the only thing you need to secure the wig is the wig itself, okay? We do not need any got to be glue. We do not need any tape. If you just want to use the wig by itself or even use the combs and the uh, elastic band that's there, that's all you need. This is truly a throw on and go wig, which is perfect for the season that we're in. A lot of people are getting and going back to school. Even the weather, you know, it's still kind of hot out. So it's perfect to just throw on and go out the door, especially because of the curl pattern too. The only thing you gotta do is really throw some water in it if you decide to. And you don't even have to do that every day. Like I did this two days ago and it still looks pretty darn good. The wig does come in two length options in a 12 inch and a 14 i got mine in the 12 for it to be a bob i think the 12 inch is still pretty pretty good you can definitely go the 
14 inch route if you want to but i think the 12 inch is perfect and one thing i was happy when it came about this wig is that i didn't have to worry about doing the styling and the parting and the plucking and the you know um bleaching the knots none of that it already came with the parting like you guys saw it already had the knots bleach as you guys saw and it already had the hairline plucked as you guys saw so the convenience is second to none with this wig honestly i'm going to leave the link for the wig down below as well as the link to the love me hair information i do have a coupon code too it's going to be across the screen it's going to be down below in the description box too so don't forget to use that at checkout and you don't have to use it with just this wig if you see another type of bob wig you want or just anything else that you want go ahead and use my coupon code and save you some money off i honestly like the quality of this wig i think that is a perfect wig for the girls out there who love themselves some curly hair some big hair and some volume even though this is the wet wavy it's not like the deep wave or anything but it's like you can't even really tell the difference because it is still pretty full and it's still pretty thick and the hair is like really really soft like it is super soft that's one of the reasons why i love love me hair so much because their hair the quality is always amazing for the dollar price it's perfect now when it comes to styling and maintaining the hair you really don't need anything but water <laughs> like you can definitely use other products if you want to but you really don't need anything but water so as far as me i just have my little water bottle here if you guys remember from my last video so you can literally just spray the hair down with water and it's going to revert back to the curl pattern and once it dry up it's going to be perfectly fine um for me so i don't have to wet the hair every single day i just use this product um this miracle curls frizz taming cream by aussie I got this from like Dollar General a few years ago. I use this on any curly unit that I have just to help maintain the hair and keep it like frizzless. And then I just have this little detangling um, brush here. This is very, very popular. This is nothing new, I'm sure to you guys. It has this little bar here. You can take it off if you want, but pretty much these white bristles kind of like help with not like pulling and breaking the hair. Um, and you can remove this and then it'll like separate like fully. Um, but this is like a really good detangling brush for curly hair just so you don't get any breakage and all that. You don't really have to worry about that tugging and pulling. It's just gonna go seamlessly through the hair. So as you guys saw, I have locks. So the real question is, is this wig lock hair friendly and on the scale of the one to ten i'll give it an eight and it has nothing to do mainly with the quality of the hair itself like i said i think that they have amazing hair quality i don't have any issues or problems when it comes to that this is just coming from a viewpoint of a woman with lack hair you know if you're a natural or you're not lacked at all and don't have that concern you can just actually braid down your normal hair or don't got no hair at all you can just throw this on this probably wouldn't really concern you um but for a woman with lack hair my only issue is the construction of the wig um but you know people don't really make wigs in my opinion and consider you know women with locks to wear a wig i don't really think people think like that but my only the only thing i dislike take the locks out of it the only thing i dislike about the wig is i feel like the cap construction could be a little better when it when it comes to like width i feel like typically with wigs you get the option to choose if you have like a small medium or large size head this says that it is the circumference of the wig is a 22.5 inches which is a standard medium everybody don't have standard medium heads okay and with me that circumference is going to be a little bit bigger now because i have locks um but outside of the fact that the locks i feel like that it, we should have the option to choose you know the cap size because it is fitting a little tight so if you know that you have more of like a 23.5 24 inch circumference dome this is gonna be a little snug on you baby okay i'm not gonna lie you may just have to cut the elastic band out. I don't think you're going to need that much security on it. Um, but that's really my only thing is the fact that you can't really choose the wig size. Because a large now would probably be perfect for me. Especially because you have the combs. You can adjust the the width or tightness of the band with those little straps that I showed you guys. And you have the elastic band. So there are steps that can be taken to make the wig more snug and secure. So I definitely think that there should be other cap size options with this wig i don't know if it's because it's a glueless wig that that's why it's not but that's really my only like thing i'm just like mm, about and the fact that i couldn't get the combs out i could not get the combs out so i would say it will it will be lock girl friendly if your locks are more so on the smaller side like mine i will say too that wigs tend to stretch out over time because of how the spandex and the cap um so over time it is definitely going to stretch out it's just like in the initial it's like almost when you break in a new pair of shoes 
you just gotta break this in <laughs> pretty much and if you guys watch my lock journey video you guys remember that i mentioned you know my struggles and like my mixed emotions that i have when it comes to wearing wigs and this is definitely a culture shock right now um it is definitely taking some getting used to it's been a few days since i had the wig on the first day i was just like oh my god i don't think i can do it where's my face and all of this uh, but it's, it's a nice option to have if i want to throw something on i can but it's definitely taking me a minute for my eyes to readjust to how i look with hair on my head but besides the actual wig construction i don't have anything negative to say about this hair when do i ever but this is also just an initial review definitely the hair is going to change depending on, on how rough and the maintenance and everything that you do when it comes to taking care of the hair but as far as the initial review i think we're all good over here on this side so i'm just gonna leave it at that so yeah that is it for this review thanks so much guys for tuning in again all of the links with the detail about the hair will be down below in the description box definitely use that coupon code if you want to save some coin off of your future purchases from love me hair but if you do decide to get this wig take a picture and tag me on instagram i would love to see how you look in it and follow me over there if you guys aren't already and i will see you guys on my next upload we'll see if i got this one if i got my locks back <laughs>